here live at Amelie Arena where the big story of the week has been the inclusion of ticket sales for Chicago Blackhawk fans. I talked to some of those fans and you may be surprised what they had to say. You no, know, that's their right. You know, if they want to be able to bring in people from Florida, have given them the first opportunity to buy tickets and purchase tickets to their home fans, you know what? Good for them. There's one thing for sure. The new ticket policy by the Lightning won't keep Blackhawk fans away. A big day for former Plant High product Kyle Tucker who was selected fifth overall in yesterday's Major League Baseball draft. But this is not the first time the Astros have chosen a Tucker. In fact, just three years ago, they selected his brother Preston. Talk about keeping it all in the family. We're here live at one Buccaneer place where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have decided to fire Lovey Smith. Now, who will be the next head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I'll tell you who it is when we come back on CSB Sports at 6. Carolina Panthers, no doubt, are one of the hottest teams in the NFL. But I just like the old school mentality of the Denver Broncos. They play defense, they run the ball, and they manage the game with Peyton Manning. That's why I like the Denver Broncos. 23-17 over the Carolina Panthers. And 39-year-old quarterback Peyton Manning goes off into the sunset with his second Super Bowl win. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have decided to hire Dirk Cutter as their new head coach. Now they're going to move on to free agency. You may be surprised who I think will be coming through these doors in March. We're live from Emily Arena for Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Chicago Blackhawks. And the big question of the week is, can this young Tampa Bay Lightning team overcome a hockey power and the Chicago Blackhawks, who, by the way, are trying to win their third Stanley Cup since 2010? For CSB Sports, I'm Peter Blake.